What is up, dudes? And welcome back to another Minecraft horror map. This one is called Into the Depths, and it was recommended by Evan's son, who is the maker of Rainvale High. So I'm pretty sure that I will enjoy this immensely as well. I hope I'll enjoy this immensely as well, because um, supposedly it's the same sort of atmospheric horror rather than just the straight-up jump scare horror, which I really liked and it says it has a dark and emotional storyline as well so let's go ahead and look I took some books out of this chest here I think I got all the settings pretty set let's see so we've got rules first do not minor place blocks unless otherwise told gold ingots are currency um, don't destroy mob spawners disable them just like this place a torch you can't pick it back up leave coal and wood inside furnaces okay Levers, buttons, redstone torches. For doors, they'll be labeled. Beds are used as save points. Buckets, flint, steel, fishing rods, axes, pickaxes. Used for intended purposes and then throw it away. Okay. Turn off the music. It's off. Inner testament to be used only for storing notes, journals, etc. All food and equipment must be carried on you. Miscellaneous items such as those things are useless in the Okay, so we've got all that, and it says for the full experience, we're supposed to play on Moody, but um, I'm using shaders, so hopefully that's uh, full plus, and if it's not dark enough, then I guess we'll worry about that. I hear mobs right back here, so it's going to be that sort of map, I guess. Um, hello there, friend. Oh. Hello there, friendly friend. Okay, let's run. Nope, nope. I'm not worth it. I'm not worth it. I'm not worth it. I'm not worth it, dude. Okay. Phew. There were some some goobly some goobly goblins out there. Okay, let's see. Um interesting. Oh dang! No. No no one loves you. No one loves you. No one hey. Hey. Friend. Friend. No one loves you. No one lo hey, you know, you know, all I want to do is play a nice little horror map. That's it. Okay. Let's head in here because I don't think they can get me in here. Whew, well, that was insane. Reception. Alrighty. <laughs> We've got a warning and some torches. Alright. I'm going to die a lot in this map, I I'm, I'm assuming. Okay. What? Rape Blade 64. Oh my. Whoever reads this, stay far, and I mean very far away from the castle. Things have gotten out of hand. We're trying to evacuate everyone. Warn the co Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. I wonder what's up here. Ooh. Oh. A fire burns, but where is everyone? Wait, is this the castle? Am I in the castle right now? Oh. Oh, so yeah, dudes. Uh, the storyline behind this is we're actually an escaped convict right now who was journeying through the forest, and I guess we just got attacked by those mobs. And so we followed the path to this castle in here. Religious quote. Keep the light focused on the dark ones, for only that will prevent the birth and keep the cage at bay. Interesting. So yeah, we um, we followed the path and we found this very mysterious, very eerie looking um, place. Paper, book, book, paper, golden apples. Oh man. The fires of the underworld have been said to have both negative and positive effects when applied to different things. However, if allowed to spread freely along the overworld, it would cause nothing but chaos. The only way to reverse such a thing would be to bring the four golden apples to God, so that he may use their powers and close the gates to the underworld. Interesting. A key. Maybe this will open up the dining hall. <gasps> And we got golden ingots and torches, so we got ourselves a dining hall key. Very cool. A wooden sword? Heck yeah. Wonderful. Even though I'm about to die. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. Uh, because that stupid skeleton came in with us and whatever. Came with us into the place. All right.
right, I think we've probably explored pretty much everything that's... Oh. Oh man, I would like some food. That would be nice. Friend. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, this looks like a castle, alright. Entrance to the dining hall is right there, but let's explore the areas that are actually open to us first. Um, and see what we can see. Doesn't look like I'm heading down there. Nope, it doesn't at all. Is this open? I don't think so. Alright, so let's head back in. Okay, locked. Uh oh. No, 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 no. I see another skeleton glaring at me through the doors. Okay, so I guess this is the only way we can go. Please don't kill me. Oh, arrows <laughs> all over me. Alright, um... Okay. Um, I heard a sound that was very eerie. Whew. Oh, okay. Both doors are open. Um... Please don't kill me. I'm not... I'm not worth it. Yeah, this is a dining hall, alright. Alrighty, it's very dark in here. Very dark indeed. Oh, and I guess that's the exit to the main hallway from here. Alright. I heard a sound, and I'm just waiting to figure out what that sound was. Um, a chest. Bread. Yay! Food! Thank you, friend. Now I can heal. Hallelujah. Got a nice little castle up on the wall there. Very cool. Oh, actually, we could probably hold the torch too, but he said it was supposed to be a dark map. So I'll do it, and if I need to brighten it up, I'll use uh, special. I'll use the uh, post editing software to do that. Alright. What is through here? I got a sword. Got a sword, and I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid at all, obviously. Oh. I hear a zombie. Um, guard's diary. Paper, gold, and torches. Alright, so we've got the guard's diary. I see him going down there almost every night. I don't want to seem paranoid, and showing suspicion towards the king will do nothing but put me in a very bad position. Someone has to investigate. He wouldn't wait until long after nightfall to go down there if he weren't up to something. Interesting. Very interesting. So the king has gone down somewhere. And we don't know where, though. Okay, I heard a zombie. Okay, no zombie in here. Thank you. At least that I can see. Mm, I hear the zombie. Ugh. Zombie, where are you? I don't like zombies. Zombie, please. <laughs> Ooh, a chair. Interesting. Okay, I'm not supposed to remove coal. I'm allowed to cook stuff with it, but I'm not supposed to remove it. Okay, gold and potion of instant heal. Don't mind if I do. I'll take all that instant healing. All the instant heals that I can get. Please. Yeah. Two courtyard. Or. Oh, hello. Hello there, friend. Uh oh, is that a baby? I don't like baby zombies. Die, baby zombie. Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Okay, good. We got rid of the baby. The baby is what is awful. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Took care of them pretty easily. Another piece of gold. Very cool. Lots of that currency. Get all the currency. Yeah, man. Okay, so that's another key place. Servants' quarters. Seaver's note. Interesting. Seaver. Who is Seaver? Someone stole the key to the courtyard. I'm not sure why, and I'm 
only slightly sure as to who it was. I've locked our suspects in this room until one of them confesses. If you need the key to this room, for whatever reason, it's in my personal storage up in my bedroom on the third floor. Of the All right, that's important. We're gonna probably need that key. I don't know why we'd want to go in there, but uh oh, here's spiders. Oh no 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 no! Go away. I don't I don't love you. There we go. Okay, this is a big map. Let's go down first. Okay, there's a spider. <laughs> uh, yeah, I get I get scared very easily, dudes. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that spider just sort of popped down on top of us, and I wasn't expecting it. That was the biggest jump scare of all the jump scares, I think. Okay, we need another another key right there. And this leads back out to... Were we here already? Yes, we were. The, we were already here. Okay, cool. So we are making some discoveries. So let's go ahead and try... Yeah, that's the same place, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and try heading up in the tower this time. And then we can also get up to the courtyard from back there, too. So let's see. Up here library. No, 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 no. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Okay. Dang it. Uh. I hear so many mobs. Um. Ooh. Uh. Oh, are we up a level? I think we're up a level now. Oh, this is a big castle. I would get lost in this big castle. I've always appreciated the work of artists, but I've never been good at it. Art. Biographies. Should be called the Schuster section. The ego on this man. Or Schuster? I don't know. A person, apparently. Very, very interesting. Okay, we, so this is the entrance to the library again. Social studies. Various books on history and world affairs. Not surprisingly, having anything having to do with the king and family's past present. Highly romanticized. Much of this should be in the fiction section, frankly. Either. Apparently, the librarian didn't think very highly of uh, the king. This section is notably dustier than the rest. Our people are too obsessed with their religious beliefs to read anything written here. A shame, really. What section? Oh, science. Alas. That's very sad. Close-minded nonsense. <laughs> I love this librarian already. <laughs> Such a character. Works of Steiner are classics. I still remember reciting one of his poems to Andrea, one of the town girls, to try to impress her. Her father was a scholar, though, and he saw right through me. Ha. Fiction. Huh. Quite a few of my own works in here. I didn't realize the higher class citizens appreciated stories like mine. Cool. Glad you're appreciated, bro. I'm glad for sure. My wife loves this stuff. I wonder why she still reads this. Oh, astrology. <laughs> yeah, because it figures since he was, um, he said the same stuff about the religious stuff. So religion and astrology, he doesn't care for. Apple and torch, don't mind if I do. My sword is not doing very, very, very good. Wait, are we back? We were already here, weren't we? Okay, so I guess that was the library. Perhaps. Wasn't there another another um, way that we could go? Yeah, so this was the way out, correct? Yeah. So were there any other doors over here? And then we can also go... Uh, there was another way to go down there as well. So We're looking for some keys, though, because there were some doors that were locked. Oh, that's the, that's the place with the key, I guess. Locked from the inside. It looks like he has a sunroof, though. Maybe I can jump in somewhere. Hmm. Very astute observation. Very astute observation, indeed. Interesting.
interesting. Alright. So actually, um, we're not going to fall because I don't want to take fall damage. <laughs> I'm going to be taking damage from enough things as it is. And falling does not need to be one of them. Alrighty, let's go ahead and head out back in here and back down the stairs and see what we can see. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Was I here already? Uh, let's see. Yes. Okay, I remember that place. And then... Um... And then I was... I This was the place I haven't been yet. Two courtyard. Interesting. Here's a... Torches and gold. Don't mind if I do. Courtyard. Here we go. This is a new area. Well, hello there, zombie. Oh, another another place that needs a torch. No, go away. Go away. Go away, 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 go away. Ha ha. Idiots. Thought he could take on me. Oh, wait. Can I do anything here either? Hmm. I must have missed something. Let's see. What have we got? So actually, dudes, I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. If you like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. If you disliked it, make sure that you leave a thumbs down and a reason why. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I think it'll be another really, really cool and ambient map. So come back next time for another episode, probably a longer episode, of Into the Depths. See ya.